Seriously, move over Jeff Bezos because Mansa Musa's wealth makes modern billionaires look like penny pinchers. But how did this dude amass such mind-boggling riches? We're about to talk about a guy so loaded he made Jeff Bezos look like he's counting pennies. Mansa Musa wasn't just rich, he was buy a country and still have cash left over cappuccino rich. Mansa Musa, the founder of the Mali Empire in West Africa, is a legendary historical character who ruled with great riches and power. His legacy echoes through the corridors of time, captivating the imagination of scholars and enthusiasts alike. In this exploration, delve into the life, reign, and unparalleled riches of Mansa Musa, the wealthiest person in history. Mansa Musa, born in 1280, emerged into a world of privilege as the heir to the throne of the Mali Empire. His father, the ruler of this vast empire, bestowed upon him not just the name, but also the weighty responsibilities that came with leadership. Yet, Mansa Musa's journey to power was far from a smooth ascent. It was fraught with challenges that tested his mettle and cunning. From his early years, Mansa Musa exhibited intelligence and charisma that set him apart. Despite the political turmoil and familial strife that often plagued the corridors of power, he navigated these challenges with remarkable skill. The intricacies of court intrigue and the subtle maneuvers of power dynamics were not lost on him. Instead, he utilized them to his advantage, forging alliances and gaining the loyalty of key figures within the empire. It was through his adept handling of these complexities that Mansa Musa gradually endeared himself to the people of Mali. His ability to inspire confidence and rally support earned him a reputation as a leader worthy of the throne. Even amidst familial contention, where rivalries and ambitions clashed, Mansa Musa's ambition burned bright, propelling him ever closer to his ultimate goal. As he ascended the ranks, Mansa Musa demonstrated a rare blend of ambition and foresight. He understood the intricacies of governance and the importance of maintaining stability within the empire. His vision for Mali went beyond mere conquest. It encompassed the welfare and prosperity of its people. This holistic approach to leadership resonated deeply with both nobles and commoners alike, solidifying his position as a formidable leader. Yet, it was not just his intelligence and charisma that paved the path to power. It was also his resilience in the face of adversity. The road to kingship was fraught with obstacles, from rival claimants to internal dissent. However, Mansa Musa met each challenge head-on, employing both diplomacy and force when necessary. His unwavering determination and strategic acumen were instrumental in overcoming these hurdles and consolidating his authority. In the end, Mansa Musa's ascent to the throne of the Mali Empire was a testament to his ambition, skill, and a touch of intrigue. Born into privilege, he embraced the mantle of leadership with enthusiasm and dedication. He triumphed in spite of many obstacles on his path, winning the respect and admiration of his people. Mansa Musa's journey from error to ruler stands as a shining example of perseverance and leadership in the face of adversity. During his tenure as the ruler of the Mali Empire, Mansa Musa demonstrated exceptional leadership skills, navigating the complex political landscape of West Africa with finesse. Central to his governance was the strategic expansion of the empire's territory, a testament to his vision and ambition. Through military conquests and diplomatic negotiations, Mansa Musa extended the influence of the Mali Empire, solidifying its position as a regional powerhouse. Mansa Musa's approach to governance was characterized by a commitment to improving the lives of his subjects. Recognizing the importance of social welfare, he implemented a series of reforms aimed at addressing societal issues and enhancing the well-being of the populace. These reforms included initiatives to reduce taxes, promote education, and establish systems of justice based on Islamic law. By prioritizing the welfare of his people, Mansa Musa endeared himself to his subjects and earned their loyalty and admiration. Moreover, Mansa Musa's adherence to Islamic law played a key role in maintaining stability within the empire. As a devout Muslim, he sought to govern in accordance with the principles of Islam, which emphasized justice, equality, and compassion. By upholding Islamic values, Mansa Musa fostered a sense of unity and cohesion among his diverse subjects, mitigating internal tensions and conflicts. Despite the challenges posed by internal rebellions and external threats, 
Mansa Musa's leadership remained steadfast and unwavering. Both supporters and opponents respected him for his ability to persevere through difficult times with tenacity and resolve. Through astute diplomacy and decisive action, he effectively quelled rebellions and repelled incursions from neighboring kingdoms, thereby safeguarding the integrity and sovereignty of the Mali Empire. Mansa Musa's leadership legacy extends beyond mere governance. It embodies the essence of visionary leadership and statesmanship. His strategic vision, coupled with a genuine concern for the welfare of his people, set him apart as a ruler of exceptional caliber. By fostering diplomatic relations with neighboring kingdoms and promoting stability within his realm, Mansa Musa left an indelible mark on the history of West Africa. Mansa Musa, the renowned ruler of the Mali Empire, epitomized unparalleled wealth through astute economic strategies and control over lucrative trade routes, particularly those dealing in gold and salt. His access to vast gold mines and establishment of robust trade relationships were pivotal in amassing a staggering net worth, surpassing even the wealth of modern-day billionaires. At the heart of Mansa Musa's economic success lay his mastery over the trade routes that traversed the Mali Empire. These routes, spanning vast distances across the Sahara Desert, facilitated the exchange of goods, with gold and salt emerging as the primary commodities. As Mansa Musa gained control over these routes, he effectively monopolized the flow of these valuable resources, allowing him to dictate prices and amass wealth. Central to Mansa Musa's economic prowess was his dominion over the region's gold mines. The Mali Empire boasted abundant gold deposits, particularly in the region of Wangara. By exploiting these resources, Mansa Musa ensured a steady influx of gold into his coffers, establishing himself as one of the wealthiest individuals in history. His ability to extract and control the production of gold further solidified his financial supremacy. Moreover, Mansa Musa's strategic establishment of trade relationships bolstered his economic stature. By fostering alliances with neighboring kingdoms and trading partners, he expanded the reach of Mali's commerce, facilitating the exchange of goods and enriching the empire's coffers. These trade networks not only enhanced Mansa Musa's wealth, but also elevated the Mali Empire's prominence on the global stage. However, Mansa Musa's wealth transcended mere economic prosperity. It embodied opulence and generosity on an unprecedented scale. His legendary pilgrimage to Mecca, undertaken in 1324, served as a testament to his boundless riches and benevolence. Accompanied by a vast entourage and laden with gold, Mansa Musa's procession captivated onlookers and left an indelible mark on the cities he traversed. During his pilgrimage, Mansa Musa's displays of generosity became the stuff of legend. He distributed gold lavishly along his journey, bestowing gifts upon the populace and endowing mosques and educational institutions. His acts of benevolence were so extravagant that they caused temporary economic disruptions in the regions he traversed, underscoring the sheer magnitude of his wealth. Ultimately, Mansa Musa's pilgrimage to Mecca solidified his reputation as the epitome of wealth and magnificence. His opulent displays and acts of generosity garnered him admiration and reverence throughout the Islamic world and beyond. Mansa Musa's unparalleled riches, rooted in astute economic strategies and control over trade routes, immortalized him as one of history's most legendary figures, leaving a legacy of wealth, influence, and benevolence that continues to inspire wonders and fascination to this day. In 1324, Mansa Musa embarked on what would become one of the most legendary journeys in history, a pilgrimage to Mecca that transcended mere religious devotion to become a spectacle of unparalleled grandeur. As the ruler of the Mali Empire, Mansa Musa's pilgrimage was not just a personal journey, but a monumental event that would reverberate through the annals of time. Accompanied by an awe-inspiring entourage, Mansa Musa's pilgrimage was nothing short of extravagant. Thousands of people, including soldiers, scholars, and enslaved people, traversed the vast expanse of the Sahara Desert alongside him. But what truly set Mansa Musa's pilgrimage apart was the sheer amount of wealth he brought with him. Laden with gold, Mansa Musa's caravan gleamed like a beacon in the desert sun. It is said that he distributed so much gold along the way that he inadvertently caused economic disruptions wherever he went. Prices for goods skyrocketed and markets were thrown into chaos as the influx of gold upset the delicate balance of trade. 
Mansa Musa's generosity was so extravagant that it left a lasting impact on the economies of the regions he passed through, underscoring the magnitude of his influence. Yet, Mansa Musa's pilgrimage was not merely a display of wealth, it was also a tricky diplomatic endeavor. As he journeyed through the lands of North Africa and the Middle East, Mansa Musa met with rulers and dignitaries, exchanging gifts and forging alliances. His pilgrimage served as a platform to showcase the power and prestige of the Mali Empire while also promoting the spread of Islam. Indeed, Mansa Musa was not just a ruler. He was also a devout Muslim who sought to spread the teachings of Islam far and wide. Along the way, he built mosques and madrasas, leaving behind a legacy of religious patronage and cultural exchange. His pilgrimage became a symbol of the global reach of Islam drawing pilgrims from far and wide to witness the spectacle of Mansa Musa's caravan. Despite the unintended economic consequences of his generosity, Mansa Musa's pilgrimage left an indelible mark on history. It highlighted the interconnectedness of the medieval world and the power of wealth and diplomacy to shape events on a global scale. Mansa Musa's journey to Mecca was more than just a religious obligation. It was a testament to his ambition, his vision, and his enduring legacy as one of the most influential leaders of his time. Mansa Musa's reign may have concluded with his passing in 1337, but his impact reverberated far beyond his time, shaping the course of history and leaving an enduring legacy. Remembered as a paragon of wisdom and justice, Mansa Musa's contributions transcended his role as a ruler, extending into realms of Islamic scholarship, cultural patronage, and diplomatic ventures. As a patron of Islamic scholarship, Mansa Musa fostered an environment conducive to intellectual pursuits within the Mali Empire. He established numerous mosques and madrasas, nurturing an atmosphere where scholars could delve into the depths of Islamic knowledge. By supporting the study of the Quran and other Islamic texts, Mansa Musa ensured the preservation and dissemination of religious teachings, enriching the cultural fabric of his empire and beyond. Furthermore, Mansa Musa's unwavering commitment to cultural patronage elevated the Mali Empire to unprecedented heights of cultural refinement. His generous endowments to institutions like the University of St. Kaur and Timbuktu transformed these centers into bastions of learning and enlightenment. Through his patronage, Mansa Musa facilitated the exchange of ideas, fostering a vibrant intellectual discourse that transcended geographical boundaries. In addition to his scholarly pursuits, Mansa Musa's diplomatic endeavors left an indelible mark on the geopolitical landscape of his era. His legendary pilgrimage to Mecca served not only as a religious obligation, but also as a strategic diplomatic maneuver. By forging alliances and exchanging gifts with rulers along the way, Mansa Musa elevated the Mali Empire standing on the global stage, solidifying its position as a formidable force in the Islamic world. However, perhaps Mansa Musa's most enduring legacy lies in his pilgrimage to Mecca, a testament to his luxury, generosity, and leadership. His unprecedented display of wealth captivated the imagination of contemporaries and continues to awe generations to this day. Mansa Musa's journey served as a beacon of leadership, showcasing the grandeur and magnificence of the Mali Empire while spreading the message of Islam far and wide. Beyond its symbolic significance, Mansa Musa's pilgrimage to Mecca remains a poignant reminder of the interconnectedness of cultures and the universality of human experience. In an age marked by division and discord, Mansa Musa's pilgrimage stands as a testament to the power of unity and solidarity transcending barriers of race, religion, and nationality. So this was all about today's video. Do like and share the video. For more terrifying videos, click the subscribe button on our channel.